and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be reacting to one of our sister discussing some big mistake that caused them re-roofing. Since I'm a professional roofer, I would like to give my take. Let's proceed. Video. Yeah. Play. And I just thought I should bring this video to you guys because I know some of you are building and you have been going to a whole lot when it comes to building in Liberia, especially when it comes to finding the right people to build for you. In this video, I just want to share some of the challenges. You can imagine building a house, you have reached a point almost complete your job or you have gone so far with your job and you are happy with the idea of what you have achieved so far you need to come back there has been a mistake this is what happened here looking at this building one would think that it's almost complete as you can see in this video the work that was carried on of this property was not done properly young men had to go through the whole process again to redesign this house he paid to buy the zinc, to transport it, to buy the nails, to buy whatever goes with the nails, and also he pays for workmanship. So this is what we come on here to talk about all these things, to encourage you guys, and to talk about things that we all need to know. Sometimes we put these projects in our family, loved ones, or people that we know, we put it in their hands to go about it. You cannot blame them because they themselves they don't know that these people are not to what they say they, they up to. So you just have to do what you can to get the right people. I'm bringing this video to you so you can gain knowledge, you can see this kind of thing happening. So when you are in the process of building, you will know, you will have idea, you will have your seven sense there telling you more to do, to check things and to really go about it for you to benefit building comes with a whole lot of challenges if you are building you have to be patient you have to wear all of the heart that will make you successful it is not easy to build especially when you are not living in Liberia or wherever you are building so this building is not a small building it's a big one it's a massive project that you're looking at here the whole thing whatever zinc that was placed there had to be removed so all wow. the zinc that was bought money is considered damage you can put them back on the building so you can imagine the money that was spent here and then the money that just went down the drain it's very very sad that you will reach this far we need to come out for people to tell you that the work was not done properly you yeah, you can see, even just by looking at the arches that is done here on these houses. It's, it's not professional people, and I feel sorry for the people back home, because first, I uh, would like to see the kind of tools you will use to build my house, because most of you are living in the diaspora. When you see the construction people in America, or where, wherever you live, you see the kind of tools they invest in to carry out their job. Now you come to Liberia, you're trying to build yourself a house. You draw the blueprint in America. Give it to a Liberian guy to build it for you. But you never once seen this company, what kind of tools this company is using to carry out your job or this company job that they do. Are they the one that are doing it? Are they documenting it? that they are, they are the one doing it or they are taking other people's work online and showing that, that they are the one doing it. Because I notice most Liberian people do that. They don't follow protocols. Let's proceed. You have to redo it. Spend money in the game to buy zinc, bam, all of the materials that need to be um, used on, the, on your house and then paying people again to do it. So you can imagine how one will feel. It's damaging, it's discouraging, but you have to be persistent. This kind of thing happened to you, you cannot be discouraged. You try, try not to be discouraged. You just gotta be focused and continue doing what. Um, that is my problem there too, sis. I understand you, you're giving them hope, try not to be discouraged, but uh, it's like throwing your money down the drain when you're not getting the result of what you're paying for. 
So me looking at this proof that the redoing, I don't know if this is the redoing work or this is the first work, but based on the knowledge that most Liberian roofers and carpenters know, they are going to do it the Liberian way, and the Liberian way are definitely is going to leak in less than a year. Next reading season, this house, this house will start to leak again, and you will have to literally change all the wood that you're changing again for the second time, change for the third time. So, if you want things done the wrong, the if you want things to be done the right way, you're sick of doing it the wrong way. We are coming in to reduce and step in to stop all of these things. We, the Golden Trust Group, I am specialized in roofing, and I promise you that your roofing troubles, your roofing, your leaking days are soon over. 2024, beginning 2024, we will start our launching, and uh, I will update you guys more about it, but let's go back to the video. What are you doing? So this is what happened to my brother here. He roofed his house and re-roofed it. So all the money that he spent the first time went down the drain. I don't want you guys to be in this kind of situation. This is why we come all here to talk about building in Liberia, development in Liberia, and all kinds of things. So I hope this video will give you some kind of insight into um, your new project. And I hope that you gain knowledge from this video and understanding so that you will apply it to your own thing, you know, to your own building project like you're doing so you don't fall um, in this kind of situation. So guys, I just wanted to encourage you if you're building, if you're doing anything in Liberia, try to find the right people who are about it the right way, seek advice, talk to people who, you know, um, who knows what they are doing or who have um, ideas of what is going on in Liberia. With, so if you need to... With evidence too, because there's many people claiming they know, but uh, when you go see their work, uh, how will you know a good work? How will you know quality work if, you don't, if you're not working in the field? That's another mm -hmm. thing too. If you're not a dentist, you go to the dentist office, the dentist fix your teeth and tell you say he's done. How would you know that what he did in your teeth is actually a quality job so same thing go with roofing most of the people in the diaspora they really don't know the intricacy of uh, construction so they just want something nice and I, I can understand everybody wants something nice so they actually have the money to pay for these things but when they see how the job is being executed that's where the disappointment comes but hold your peace because Golden Trust Group Incorporated will come and solve all of these problems because for us, we follow protocols. Protocols meaning that we have certain way of working and these things are tested and they are tested and they are checked. So, for example, some of our protocols here I can read for you. We got layout of foundation before digging. Foundation trenches, compactor before you lay the brick before brick laying we got dpm application if you don't if you don't know what dpm is is dam proof membrane because i will stop here for now but we got 12 12 of these steps to follow so dam proof membrane if you don't use it that's when your foundation start to mold that's another video i'm planning on reacting of uh, i saw on youtube this uh, lady piso mattis where her foundation starts start starting to mold uh, somebody advised her she should use ties she should use black paint she should use this that all of that is not the solution the solution is from the time they were building the house they should have had plan of using a damp proof membrane so they will not face what they're facing today and uh, for the same lady sorry for using her as an example uh but the video is out there those houses that you see she have they're already leaking she even uh, wrote to me that she never moved in the house already when they were already leaking. So most people in America who building their houses back home in America and back home in Liberia, sorry, most of them, the houses, before they move in, it already starts to leak. So imagine you have not moved in the house. You're doing re-roofing. You're transporting. You're buying material. All the money spent, you have to do it one more time, one more time over and over. So why don't you consider people like us 
who actually went to school and know how material like metal work, how aluminum work in different kind of weather, how to apply it, what kind of metal to apply, what kind of machine to use. Give some of us a chance. Some of, some of us uh, want to help. So try us and see what we can do. I have some video on YouTube of my work here in Europe. I have not worked in Liberia yet, but uh, those same method that I learned here can be applied in Liberia. And for material wise, I can make these materials available because I know where to buy them. They are a little bit expensive here in Sweden, but we can get them elsewhere cheaper. And uh, the Liberian market can afford it because I see people uh, with nice houses in Liberia or try to afford nice houses. These people have money. They want the good things. Uh, if they can afford these houses, I'm definitely sure they can afford the kind of roofing that I'm talking about. So for more information, try and contact me. And I will try and stop this video here for now. Thank you.